So in order to achieve a pregnancy, we need an egg, a sperm, a way for them to meet up, and then a hospitable uterus to accept the embryo. So one of the most common causes of female infertility is age-related. We have all the eggs we're ever gonna have when we're born. And as we age, they're gonna be um, decreasing in quality and quantity. By the time a woman is 40, she has about a 5% chance of spontaneously conceiving in a given month. Other issues with uh, on the egg side are gonna be ovulation disorders. So for instance, polycystic ovarian syndrome. Um, women with that disorder, they don't um, often ovulate um, each month. They sometimes don't ovulate at all and it requires medication to help them release that egg. And unless we release an egg, there's no chance that we'll have to be pregnant. And then, like I said, we need a way for them to meet up. So we need um, a way for the sperm and the egg to, um, to meet, and that's the fallopian tube. And so damage to fallopian tubes is another common cause of female infertility. It can be from infection, from prior surgery, um, from endometriosis. We have to have a hospitable uterus in order for the pregnancy to implant and one of the most common causes of female infertility is endometriosis. Endometriosis is when the endometrial glands that line the uterus that shed each month actually migrate outside the uterus and they go into the pelvis and they can attach to organs in the pelvis or the pelvic sidewall and they cause inflammation because they're not supposed to be there. And that inflammation can create sort of an environment that makes it hard to implant and like I said before, it can also cause damage um, to the surrounding organs including the fallopian tubes and ovaries.